There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Laser Beam Wars. The object of the game is to destroy the PC's laser beam. To do this, you must enclose the PC's laser with light from your own. The lasers are destroyed by touching any light source. The cursor keys control the movement of your laser beam. Okay, so this was made by a college student called Gary Wilkinson from Lancashire in Barrie. Okay, what level of difficulty do you require? I'm hoping one is the slowest. Let's try it. Okay. Uh, play again. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, so it's it's got that whole snake thing going on where you can't encase yourself. I'm the red beam and the computer is the yellow beam and I've crashed into a wall. <laughs> so the computer is very good with precise movements, but I'm not so good. Let's see if we can enclose this computer. I'm not sure we can. And I'm dead. Again. Huh. I'm very good at dying. It reminds me of... You know Tron? That uh, movie. So, I guess the planets are another light source. Yeah, are you enclosed yet? Let's see. Ah, oh, he's, he's struggling now, isn't he? Except I couldn't make the turn. Uh, I'm very, very poor at this game. But yeah, it's it's like Snake in the terms of how it controls, but it's like Tron in terms of, uh, you know, the light cycle thing. And the computer's really messed himself up here. He's, he's stuck in a square. He's stuck himself in a square. So all I need to do now is just aimlessly wander about and not die. Which is easier said than done. So this must be the downside of, yes, I won that one, of the really, really poor AI. As in the difficulty level, not the actual AI. So let's see if we can exploit this using logic. The answer's no. Oh, he's gonna get there before me. Get Oh, I hate when he hugs the side like that. There. Now you're in trouble. Or am I in trouble? I think I might be in trouble. Oh no, he's he's uh, messed himself up again. Yes. Lonnie gets... Oh, I, I didn't even realise what direction I was going. I was too busy celebrating. Okay. And I took a bit too long turning there. So that, that could be a problem. A race to the bottom. I can't quite get to the bottom. Uh oh. You can't hit the stars, by the way. Any other source of light, including planets and stars, will mess you up. And it looks like, as time passes, the stars populate the map more. So that means you can't just rest on your laurels. Because you could die at any given moment. And with a score of 8 to 3, I think I've seen enough. So what is this game that is something to do with laser beams? Uh, it's a little shareware game from a single developer back in the 80s, I believe, who was heavily influenced by Snake and by Tron, and decided, hey, I want to make a keyboard-controlled version of that. But they added additional obstacles that give it an almost roguelike strategy where at any given moment a star could just wink into existence and, you know, scupper you. So if you trap the computer, it's not necessarily victory for you because you have to avoid all sources of light with your laser. It's playable. I mean, if you really want a sort of DOS-style, low-colour laser adventure in the vein of Tron, and you're a snake fanatic, then you might get some fun out of this. But it's a very simple throwaway game, 
And I can't really be too hard on it, to be honest, because it was made by one guy when he was very young. So kudos to him. Gary Wilkinson, was it? And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at hundreds of other videos on my channel. I have over a thousand videos at this point. And if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you can navigate your laser better than Lonnie, you might be one of the clever patrons with excellent accuracy. Look at those great names. They would avoid all sources of light. Well, yeah, that makes them sound like loners. I mean, in the context of the game. Until next time.